ready for the action? Yeah. Uh, yes. This year with our first World Championships outside Europe in uh, North America, San Francisco, we were a little concerned about attendances, but we had a great championship in, uh, in USA and uh, we came to Sardinia in October and we've, res we've now had the biggest European championships in the history of the class. Everything went right this year, so what is the plan for next year? Next year we expect to grow again. We are moving to Medenblik in, in the Netherlands for the World Championships in August, just after the Olympic Games. And uh, I anticipate we will probably have the biggest World Championships we've ever had. Why Medenblik? It's a World Cup venue for uh, Olympic classes. We're going directly after the Olympics. And this class is also the feeder class of the Olympic, uh, for the future Olympic athletes. So perfect. The Europeans will move to Elat the same period, end of October, uh, and uh, again, we expect to, the, the class to continue to grow and to have another great championship. Pietro Porcello, the pioneer of windsurfing journalism. Okay, pioneer of windsurfing journalism. You traveled uh, many places, you've been to many regattas. Uh, how many exactly? About 500 in 33 years. For, for 15 years, between uh, 1979 and 1993, I've been to all the World Cup, uh, Olympic Games, uh, wave contest, slalom, open class, all around the world. Finally, in my own town where I grew up, uh, it's nice to be back and to see so many kids, 350 kids from all different parts of the world. It brought me back a little bit to the early days on the windsurfer class. There was one board, one sail, and I think uh, the spirit of the one design is back here with the people not stressed, very friendly, and so beside the good competition, as uh, Oli Schweitzer used to say, this 50% competition, 50% social time. I think in Cagliari we have seen this. Yeah.